Hey everyone, Leo with the Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our sand pail treat bucket. Uh, this is going to be a great little piece that coordinates perfectly with our beautiful sand castle, which I just finished putting together. You definitely want to take a look at that. And uh, well, if you want, you can create this just a one off for a child's birthday or even an adult. Or if you're using the sand castle as a centerpiece, you can maybe make two or three of these. And uh, our vision is um, potato chips or popcorn, but obviously you can fill it with whatever you'd like. So anyway, the assembly is pretty straightforward. Uh, in front of me here, I've got the two main sections <clears throat> of the pail, and you'll notice that I already have some of these panels in place. Now, you'll notice also that on these sections here, starting from left to right, we've got a one, two, three, and a four, and we've got a one, two, three, and a four here. These panels, also have the Roman numerals on here. So you wanna make sure that you put these in the correct order based on the numbers that are printed or cut into the main structure here, okay? So I've already glued these down in order, one, two, three, and four. We're gonna do the same thing with these here, okay? And that's just because the little circles and the holes that are cut into this um, kind of wrap around each of the little elements. And this way you get them in the right spot and then they alternate correctly as well. Okay, so, well, lucky me, my air conditioner in my studio just went out. It won't be fixed till tomorrow, but I'm gonna power through here under, uh, what is it? 7, 14, 2100 watts of lights. I'm gonna get a tan while I'm working on this. Okay, so this is uh, panel number two. You can see the Roman numeral two, and then there's a Roman numeral two there. There are also markers right here in the corners, as well as down here, to help you with the correct placement of all of these panels. So I'm doing one through four on this side, you are going to repeat this process one through four on this one here, the one that I already did. And one through four on both sides are the same. So it doesn't matter if you use this one or that one, they're completely identical. But as long as you match up the numbers, you will be in good shape. Okay, so we'll get this last one in place and then we're gonna to put together the little seashell elements. I've already put half of those together because again, they're repeated, repeated twice. Well, I guess repeated once. There's a total of two of each. Okay, so our panels are in place. That looks great. And now I'll show you the little seashell elements here. There's one, two, three, and four. There are two layers. One is a beautiful white glitter that I hit with a nice coral ink. And the other is, in this case, it's a, uh, what color is that? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, it's caramel. Caramel, caramel, whatever you want to call it. So our little seashell, this guy here, I forget what these are called. I never was a collector of shells. I'm sure there's a specific name for this one. That's just going to get glued flat right onto this shape. Okay, so very simple. We're gonna end up using some foam squares to pop dot these onto the main structure. And then we've got this guy here. It's gonna go right here, starting at the bottom. So we wanna line that up with the bottom. We've got a little bit of the brown showing through on the left-hand side. So we'll get that one glued down. And again, you're gonna do this twice because we've got two of each of these. So I'm just showing you one, but you are gonna do this twice. So. Um, we're going to line this up with the very bottom there, the tail, and get that in place. That looks nice. We've got a little starfish here, and he's not symmetrical, so make sure that you figure out which way it goes on before you accidentally try to put it on the wrong way. Okay, there we go. And that is going like this. And then our last one is made up of two sections, but it's very simple. So this guy's gonna go like this. That's where the first one goes. 
Just throw a little bit of glue on the back. And line that up. You got the little top and bottom there. It's very obvious where that goes, just like that. And then this guy is gonna go right here, like that. So we just need to throw a little bit of glue on this guy here. And it's gonna go right there like that, okay? So that's it. So we've got these guys ready. And then there's also this little guy, and that's gonna go on the handle. So we want to get that glued together. This is one of those little, I think they, maybe they used to use this as money, like currency. Wouldn't that be nice? Just go pick up a bunch of these and then retire. Okay. So we put those out of the way. Or, yeah. And we're going to take and join these two sections together now. So we can begin by putting glue on this large tab. Get a good amount on there. A nice thin line towards the bottom. Spread that out. Nice and thin. And then take this piece, line it up nicely, and get that in place. Press that down, give it a few seconds. And then we're gonna take and grab it by the seam where we just joined the two sides and fold it over onto itself. You'll notice that this should be nice and symmetrical up at the top. And that's a good indicator that you've got this aligned nicely. Okay, and then you can take and put glue on this tab. And we're gonna close this up and make it a solid piece here. All joined together. There we go. Okay, and you can actually lay that down flat and bring this side over and just lay it down should match up nicely. And if it doesn't initially, let it get its initial hold. We'll take it and fold it over onto itself there at that seam and then press down there. And that usually snaps it where it needs to be. Okay, all right, so there it is. Now we're gonna take this and flip it upside down and try to make it symmetrical as if the bottom was on holding it all in place. It's just gonna make it a lot easier to put the bottom on here, and I'll show you. We'll begin by putting glue on all of these tabs. Okay, and I'm gonna be spreading this glue out to the very edges, so I'm going a little bit heavier than usual. Spread that out to the very edge. I want it to look nice and crisp and clean. This is a great little, a great little uh, bucket, basket, that you could even make for a child's birthday, even a baby's birthday. It's gonna be a lot of uses for this. So we're gonna close this, focus on getting this side lined up with this section here first. Get that nice and centered. And then, if you need to, kind of squeeze this wall out a bit to line it up. I'm just taking these two sides and squeezing it to force it out. And out here too, I need to bring that out just a tad. There we go. And that is looking good. Now I may need to reapply some glue on this section here because I feel like I missed my window of opportunity to get it to stay, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna continue pressing down around the perimeter, just making sure that it's making good contact. We'll flip it over and can push down on the tabs from the inside to help all of those make good contact. You can kind of see that. Look at that, you can see the little sweat up there. Hopefully I don't pass out. If I do, this video is gonna go viral. Man passes out while crafting. That's how we do it around here. Oh yeah, I got sweat beading off my head now. Oh yeah, I mean business. Hey, sometimes the world tests you as if launching a new website wasn't enough, huh? Okay, so bottom looks pretty good. Everything looks nice and clean and crisp. 
Now we're going to take some glue and just throw some glue around the perimeter here, a little bit on the inside. We've got this piece that we're going to pop right in here. Should just drop right in to hide those tabs, make it look real nice, and also reinforce the inside, make it a little bit stronger. Okay, and then all that's left is we've got, um, we've got this section here. It's going to go on top. You know, one of these should have, no, that's fine. And then we've got this red section that goes on the bottom. And then we just have to put the handle together. So choose your pick, whichever one you want to start with. But uh, if we start at the top, grab the section that has little tabs on it, like built into it. We're going to start with that and begin by putting glue on one or two of the middle sections of this. I'm going to go with two of them. So the two in the middle, we'll go with that since this has eight sides. Okay. And when you pop, when you pop this on here, um, just kind of put it right over the little fold there and make sure that it's flush with the top. You'll notice that the little wave that's cut into this should sit right over this little hole where our handle and our brad are going to go. But again, make sure that it's nice and flush with the top. Kind of use your finger to feel for that. And when you get those first two in place, go ahead and start applying your glue to the end piece and get some glue on that little tab there all the way out to the edge of that tab. Fold it over, again, making sure it's flush with the top. And then that tab, I'll bring that over to this side here. Make sure that that is sitting nice and flush as well. And we can move over here to this last piece and get our glue here like that. And then throw a little bit on this little tab here all the way out to the end, the very edge of the tab. Bring it over, make sure it's flush with the top and bring that tab over to the next side. That looks great. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna grab this section. I wanna make sure that we place this on correctly. You don't wanna overlap an existing one. You wanna make sure that you get it in the right section. So I'm gonna start with these two and I'm gonna put glue on the middle two, just like we did the first time. Okay. There we go. And again, doing the middle two here. There we go. Making sure it's nice and flush with the top. And I can tell that this right here, I didn't get this aligned perfectly. A little bit of that sticking up, but I can always take a little scissor and trim that off. Or actually, honestly, I don't think anyone's even gonna notice. Okay, so now we just fold this back. We've got one section left here. Apply your glue. Make sure you get it all the way out to the very edge of this section, like so. And then just fold that over. Make sure it's flush with the top. Press that down into place. And that just leaves this guy here. And we're basically going to do the same thing with the bottom red section. It's just not as thick, but the process is going to be exactly the same. There we go. Oops. And fold that over. Line that up, flush with the top, press down, and voila. Voila, voila, voila. Okay, looking good. All right, so now we'll do the bottom section here. Make sure you fold everything at the score marks. And you're gonna wanna start off just like at the top with the section that has the little tabs on it. Okay, and just kind of try it out to see how it needs to go on, because it won't work this way. If you try it upside down, it's gonna look weird. So make sure you have the orientation correct. And we're gonna start by putting glue on the middle two sections. And use the, use the edge there to help you with the initial placement. Make sure it's nice and flush with the bottom. And press that down. There we go. 
can kind of hold that with your fingers there while you peel it back and apply glue to the remaining section and then just a little bit onto that tab all the way out to the edge. Bring it over and down and then bring that tab over as well. Make sure it's nice and flat and flush up against your, your main structure here. There we go, beautiful. And we'll head over here. Apply your glue to the last section, a little bit on the tab. Fold it over, nice and flush. The tab should be sitting on the next section over. Here we go. And then that just leaves this guy here. Same thing. Check your work, make sure you've got it the correct orientation. We'll start with the middle two. Like so. And use that edge with the score mark for your initial placement. Nice and flush with the bottom. There we go, press that down. Awesome. And then peel that back. Get your glue on there all the way out to the edge. And fold that over, it should meet up with that first tab there. There we go. Looking good, wonderful color selection by the one and only Ron, who is our art director. Love this color combination here. It's gonna look great next to our sand castle too. So I'm just gonna finish this up by putting glue on that last section and fold that over. There we go. Okay, so that's that. And now you'll notice that we have a series of markers here um, that will kind of help you identify which, um, which shape goes where. Okay, and here on section number three, we're doing our little starfish. So now's the time to get your little foam squares out. You can do these real quick. And then we just have to put a handle together. And before you know it, you're gonna be done here. There we go. This section here, it's gonna take this shell. Okay, so this guy here, pretty obvious where all of these pieces go once you kind of line them up and so on so i think you get the idea here so we've got these two that if i had to guess is probably uh, which one is it there she is that would be that one double check yep and i think you can get away with just one foam square and this one's kind of at an angle just use the little markers there to help you Okay, and then this guy here. Okay, so here number two is this fella. And like I said, I think one is plenty to get all of these to stay. Just do your best to line them up with the little markers there. So we've got one, two, three, four. So obviously at this point, it's just going to repeat and with this one, this one's a little funky. Just gonna make sure you get it lined up correctly. There we go. Okay. And that was just like that. And this guy's coming here. So you get the idea. And then all that's left to do is put our little handle together, which is pretty straightforward. Not much to it. Okay, so now we're going here with this guy. It's a very cute little piece. Kudos again to Ron for the cute design. This will be adored by recipient or Whoever might be coming to the party, might be eating some popcorn or some chips out of this. And at the end of the night, you could definitely make it a parting gift to either the birthday boy or girl or whoever you want to give it to, actually. 
So there you have that. And then again, as I mentioned, just have the handle. Okay, and this guy here. So, okay, so the way that this works is the, the, the handle is two layers thick on this color and then one layer thick on the overlay. And you'll notice that one of these has a little L cut into it. That indicates liner, so that's the one you wanna put on the bottom. This top one has these two little markers here, and that's to help us um, place this, because it needs to overlap a little bit like that. Okay, so as we're gluing these together, <clears throat> we want to start kind of forming it into uh, kind of like a rainbow shape, a curved shape, just so that, um, well, it'll just be easier to assemble this whole thing. So as this thing is drying, just start to kind of hold it in this position, just as if it was, you know, curved like a handle. And just give that a good press all the way up and down like that. So if you try to glue it flat and then you try to bend it, these two layers may somewhat kind of peel away from each other and they're already kind of doing it now. Okay, so make sure you get ample glue on this whole thing and give it a good squeeze as you kind of keep it in this shape. Okay, that looks good. Now we do the same thing here. Make sure that the layer with the letter L is the bottom layer and try to get that glue out to the edge of each of these little scallops as far as you can go. Okay, just kind of do like little circles all the way up and down. And I need a little more up here. That's not gonna stick. Okay, pop that right on there. And you wanna match up the hole in the bottom, obviously. And you almost kind of just wanna let it dangle. And at the top, you might wanna kind of curve it a little bit like so. Okay, and then just work your way up, pressing down on the very edges of each of these little scallops until you get to the top and you can see how it's already kind of formed because I let it dangle. You don't wanna glue this down flat. It's not gonna work. Okay, so there we have that. Oh, by the way, while we let these kind of settle and set, uh, we do have two additional little rings uh, one second here. Yeah, and we're gonna take and we're gonna glue these to the inside of each of the red handles. It's just to kind of reinforce it a little bit. So you just go like that, and pop that right over the hole. If you're off a little bit, it's okay, because that brad isn't really that big. Okay, so let's get that in place. There we go. And now we're gonna take and join these two sections together. And we're gonna to overlap this onto these three sections. So you wanna put your glue on these three sections here. One, two, three, like so. Get it all the way out to the very edge here on this last one. That's the most important. Okay, and use the little markers there as well as the existing little scallops on the layer below it, just like that. Okay, and continue to hold that. And you may wanna give this a little bit of a curve. Now that these are connected, you can see how nice that bend is. And if by chance you have any little areas with a little bit of separation, it's not the end of the world, just grab a scrap piece of paper, throw a little bit of glue right in there and just tuck it right into that little section and press that down. Give it a little extra squeeze just to make it look nice and flush and uniform. And don't release it too soon. Okay, so the main part of the handle is done now. And all that's left to do is take this section. We're gonna take these two and you can see that on this piece, you've got um, a little bit of, well, you've got some markers there. Now, before we do this, I'm gonna take a dowel and put the strip of paper here between my finger and the dowel, and then kind of bring it up almost 45 degrees and then run the dowel through it. 
And you see what that does. It gives it a nice curve. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to loosen up the, the fibers of the paper a little bit so that when we do glue it to the top of this, it sits nice and flat. So for this, we're gonna take our glue and just below the score mark, you're gonna apply your glue there. And then what I also wanna do is just right at the tip here, throw some glue on there and spread that all the way out to the very edge. And that will be perfect. The perfect amount of glue that we will need to line that up with the little score marks there. You can kind of use your surface to make sure that you've got it nice and lined up. You can see I did some beautiful inking on this as well. Okay, there we go. And then finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna join these two pieces together. We're gonna kind of glue them together like this and they should match up nicely like so. Okay, so this is gonna require that we apply our glue to this entire section. Gotta work kind of quick because we've got a lot of surface area to cover. So I'm just doing doing a little pigtail sort of thing all the way down to the very end. And I would start by lining this up with the hole, getting it centered, and then just kind of working it all the way down until I get it all the way to the other end. And then once it's in place, just continue to press down and make sure that that is making good contact throughout. Yeah, it's a little tough making a handle out of paper, but it's doable. I mean, it's not hard. It takes a little strategy, a little patience, but boy, that looks awesome. Look at that, perfect. Okay, so we just grab our brads and Gonna feed, where's our little hole? There it is. Feed the brad through one side and just spread it out. We don't really use a lot of brads unless we're making stuff like this. And then the other side, just feed it right through, spread those pins apart. And there you have it, beautiful. And then a little cherry on top is this guy and you can just glue him down, that's fine. I'll just throw a little bit of glue right in the center. And that's just to cover up that little seam. So everything looks nice and seamless. Beautiful. And that's it. All right, look at that. And from this angle, I'd say I did a pretty good job with that handle. It looks very symmetrical. Everything looks nice and together. Nothing is pulling apart. A plus job, Leo. And I'm sure that yours will look just as good, if not better. But that's about it. Aside from this, um, I've got some tiny little pearls and some rhinestones that I'm gonna put on the blue panels just to kind of um, give an indication of maybe some bubbles, just to make it a little more festive. And then of course, I'm gonna fill this up with some treats and um, call it a day. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, head on over to our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, hit the little bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or the sandcastle or the card or anything from our bundle, I would love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, or you can type in this little URL at the bottom of your screen and it'll take you right there. So anyway, um, that was fun and I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again.